Hey guys, Jim KN4YCD and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. So in this video, I want to take a look at this device. This is a Palomar M827. And as you can see on the device, it is an SWR power meter. This is a fairly old gadget. I mean, I don't know, I'd probably say 90s maybe. Um, the manual I found online is photocopies of paper hand typed pages. So it's got a few years on it. The device itself has uh, an on off switch. It runs on AC power at the moment. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. And it has three different ranges on it 20 uh, watts, 200 watts, and 2000 watts. I have had this plugged into my 7610 and, and ran it at 100 watts and didn't have any problem with it. Uh, <clears throat> it has a simple power LED that shows when we're on. And then the inside, and I've taken the cover off. The cover is just a piece of black pot metal that goes over top and has a couple of screws. So inside the device, we can see this business here. This is the circuit board that takes care of uh, the LEDs and the switching and so on and so forth. Um, this will take the input signal from this board and then convert it and show it in digital format with LEDs, all right? Um, there's a transformer there. This is where the AC comes in and then it's distributed out via these leads here to this board. And then of course this board is also hooked up to that as well. So this is where all the transmogrification of the RF signal turns into to blinky lights. Um, I, you know, I'm kind of a fan of blinky lights and older gear. So I thought this thing was pretty cool. I bought this used off of uh, MTC radio, and uh, I think it's a great device. It, it actually works. I've tested it in the house, and that's what we're going to look at today. So here's the back of the device. It has a ground screw, of course, and then our, our Indian and our Audi. This is only for HF. This does not work on VHF, UHF. I've tried. It does not give valid readings at all. Um, I think the power is close. The SWR is completely out of whack at VHF and UHF frequencies. It just, it pegs out to 10 and that's it. Um, the power is probably fairly close to correct. Although in reading the documentation for this device, it says that this reading should be accurate at 1.0 SWR. And if you're not at 1.0, then this reading is skewed. So I got to take that with a grain of salt. And that's not what it was designed for. So anyway, what I'm going to do, what we're going to do today is I'm going to hook this up to the MFJ um, dummy load back here. This is a 100 or 300 watt dry dummy load, the MFJ model uh, 260C it looks like. And then I've got a couple batteries. Um, we're going to also compare this on the MFJ digital meter as well and see if we get results that look similar. We're using an IC706 mark one for our transmit device we're only testing on the hf side again because this is not designed for vhf the mfj digital meter which is way back here is designed for vhf and uhf we're only going to test on on hf today i'm going to swap out this dummy load because we're going to test at 100 watts not 50. And as you can see on the back of this, it's designed, oops, it's designed for both um, VHF and HF, or actually VHF, UHF, and HF. So we'll, we'll verify our results against that um, later in the video. All right, so let me get some stuff hooked up, and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got everything wired up now. Um, we have the 706 here and it is connected to the Palomar SWR watt meter. We're getting power off of a 12.8 volt uh, Mieti 20 amp hour battery. <clears throat> the Palomar meter is going out to an MFJ 300 watt dummy load. So that's our, that's our test setup at this point. You can see my bright green shirt in the background. So we're set at low power and the meter is on its lowest setting. So I am on upper sideband at this point. Apparently the keying circuit, the CW key circuit in this radio is shot. I did not know that. So we're gonna to have to do AM and sideband testing, but 
I just want to kind of see how this is going to work. So we're on low power right now, and I'm going to start talking. KN4 YCD test one two three four test one two three four test one two three four. So our 20 20 watt range is at the top since we're on the lowest scale here. All right, and then you can see our SWR peaking around 1.1 or so. KN4 YCD test one two three four one two three four. This is a test audio. Actually less than 1.1, so that's great. Let's turn up our power to about halfway. And I'm gonna change our scale to the 200 scale. And we're still on upper sideband on 20 meters. Okay, and four YCD, testing one, two, three, four, testing one, two, three, four, audio, audio. And it looks like we're hitting about 50 watts on sideband, so that's great. Let's go ahead and crank it up. Let's turn it up to 11. And now we're showing high power on our 706. We're on our 200 watt scale. KN4 YCD, test one, two, three, four, test one, two, three, four. Audio, audio, audio. And we're hitting a little over 100 according to the according to the Palomar meter. So the meter seems to be working. This is a 100 watt radio and I'm seeing what I would expect to see. Let's change the mode on this to AM. I'd wanted to do CW for this test, but that's not gonna work out for us. KN4 YCD, testing one, two, three, four, testing one, two, three, four. And we probably don't have 100 watts on AM. It's probably only 50 watts on AM, I would guess. KN4 YCD, test one, two, three, four. We're seeing about a 30 watt carrier with peaks up to a little over 100. Testing one, two, three, four, K and four YCD. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so we've got our MFJ meter hooked up now. I would like to have done this with both of these meters side by side. I'm just not entirely sure how well that would have worked. So we're gonna have to do it this way. And I'll try and put a little uh, chart or something in the video to to show what this looks like okay so we're on low power with the radio on upper sideband k and four ycd test one two three four one two three four audio about two or three watts let's switch this over to am and we're getting about the same test one two three four test one two three four watt and a half. Let's move us back to sideband. Let's go up to halfway. Now the beauty of the MFJ meter is that it auto ranges. We don't have to change any ranging function on it. K and 4 YCD, test 1, 2, 3, 4, test 1, 2, 3, 4. K and 4 YCD, test 1, 2, 3, 4. Audio, audio. Audio, 10 watts or so. Let's go all the way to high power on this radio. And again, we're on upper sideband. Test one, two, three, four. Test one, two, three, four. Audio, audio. And we're getting about, I saw 92 pop up there. Of course, on sideband, it modulates with my voice. Um, I've probably annoyed everyone now with all my audios. Let's change this over to AM and see what we get. So we're seeing a 20 to 30 watt, about a 20 watt carrier. And testing one, two, three, four, testing one, two, three, four, audio, 50 watts on AM. So. That's it for today. I'm going to try and put a little chart with some of the values that we got um, on the screen while we're doing the video so we can kind of keep up with this. It's not scientific. Is the Palomar meter the best thing in the world? Well, no, because it's old, for one. Um, let me move the camera. It's older. It's not nearly as accurate, I would guess, as the MFJ model meter. 
Will it work for ham? Absolutely it will. In any case, guys, that's all I've got for today. If you would, make sure and give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, click the little doodly doo down in the corner or the big giant button down in the description below and make sure you're subscribed. It's free. Ring that bell also. That way you'll get notified whenever I post any new videos. Guys, I appreciate it. 73.